everybody. Welcome back. My name is Caroline. I am one of the keepers here at Wildlife Sydney Zoo. Uh, for those of you who don't know us, we are located uh, right in the middle of Sydney on the beautiful Darling Harbour. Um, today we have something really, really special for you. So a few of you might have been following some of our other live streams where we've met lots of our different keepers and lots of different animals. Uh, but today we have something that is really special. So these guys kind of work a bit more behind the scenes than our keepers, but that doesn't make them any less important. Uh, today we're gonna introduce you to our amazing vet team. So we have uh, Dr. Mike Cannon, he's our vet, and Kelly, our vet nurse. So I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna introduce you to these guys over here. Morning. Now, today we are doing something really fun. We're going to be doing some work with our frogs. So, Kelly, do you want to tell us a little bit about what we're going to do with our frogs today? Yeah, so today is health check day. So, we're just going to check in with our green tree frogs. Uh, we'll weigh them and then we'll have a good look over their condition, make sure they're nice and healthy. Um, we'll show you a few features about them. We'll be able to tell which ones are the boys and which ones are the girls, and we'll let you know how we do that. Just to give them a general health check, make sure they're all good. And then at the end, we'll see if anyone's hungry. Awesome. And guys, like always, if you have any questions about any of our frogs today, make sure you write them in the comments and we're going to do our very best to answer them for you. But I reckon let's get started. All right. So we have three green tree frogs in here. Magnificent tree frogs have decided to join the party nice and early. You guys are just gonna have to hang out there for a little bit longer yet. They didn't get the memo that today was not their day. Um, but we'll get one of these little ones out. Uh, first of all, Mike, do you wanna Thank explain you. why we're wearing gloves? We, we wear gloves for two reasons. One is these little guys all have a nice little layer of mucus, like a little slime layer on them that helps protect them from uh, infections and things like that. And it also helps them absorb sort of chemicals and things out of their environment. And so we wear gloves so that if we have any chemicals, because we're handling drugs and medications, that we don't contaminate them with that. And they're happy just to sit there. They're, they're, they're lovely little animals. So um, while he's sitting so beautifully like that, get our little microchip number. So this is how we tell the three of them apart. All of our frogs are microchipped. Makes it nice and easy when we're recording uh, weights and different features about them. While Kelly's writing that down, we just have a look at the animal. We look at eyes, and they're lovely and clean. We look at the nostrils, they're tiny little nostrils, but they're nice and open. And you can see their ears just here, that they don't have a cartilage around their ear like we do, they just have a little disc there. And then we, we look at their general condition. They should be nice and rounded. None of the bones should be standing out. They're nice and clean. We can have a look at their tummy. They don't like rolling over much, but there we go. And they've got these really strong little pads on their feet that helps them. They can walk up glass. You and I can't do that. But uh, this is a nice little animal. It's, it's, it's in really good body condition. It's quite normal. And it's, it's doing very nicely. Right. Little girl. This is a girl. So do you want to tell us what we're looking for, Mike? Okay. On, on this, like the equivalent of their thumb, the, 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 the males have a little pad there, a little dark pad they use for hanging onto the females when they're mating, and that's called a nuptial pad, so a marriage pad that they have there. And this one is a little female. We'll see if we can find one in, in one of the other ones. There we go, Kelly. All right, so before our little girl goes back, we're going to wait. Any guesses, everyone, while it's stabilizing? 44 grams. Awesome. There we go, so we'll write that down. So we write everything down and we keep a record and we can use that to compare with anything that we find next time. Is their weight about the same? Is their body condition the same? And all the, the, the little areas of it, that, that all that little animal is nice and healthy. It's like us going to the doctor once a year to have a health check just to make sure everything's working properly and these little fellas are just doing that same thing. Alright. Here comes our next customer. Bags are just sitting there beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Slightly bigger animal. Yeah, so most likely this one will be another girl just due yes. to size. The girls are always bigger than the boys. 
but they have to grow up. And they just sit there and hang on really nicely. Again, you can see the eyes, the nose, and sometimes they'll open their mouth. No, they don't want to. And their ears are nice and clean. And their little pads, oops. They're hard to pull off because they hang on to everything. And you've got these little pads just sitting there. There they are. But that allows them to, to walk on lots of different things. And they've got this lovely skin and it's, it's glistening. And it's nice and healthy. And you can see this animal looks in wonderful condition. It's doing very well. There yep. we go, Kelly. Yep. Waiting time. Wait on her. Yeah, so she is a bit bigger. A nice healthy weight for a girl. So she's sitting at 63 grams. Alright, lucky last. One more green tree to go. So we've been asked a question from Jamie. She asked us how often do we check on them and how often do we weigh them? Um, so all of our frogs here at Wildlife Sydney Zoo get weighed once a week just to make sure that they're nice and healthy. Um, and check in with them. So this is our last little one. So this is the third frog. I am pretty sure this is our boy. This is a boy. You can see that little dark area on his, just near his thumb. And that doesn't look much, but that, that helps him hang on to the female and, and she'll sit still while, while they have their mating. He's also the noisiest so far. <laughs> He's making the most noise. Just got well, these are very say. gentle animals. There we go, got the microchip. Awesome. And he, he's again in good condition. Eyes, ears, nose. And we can see back here. Got a nice rounded little tummy. And he's a happy, happy camper. There we go. Mm -hmm. They're all got good body conditions. Alright, so Samuel um, asked us um, a little bit of a harder question. Um, do we know how long frogs live to? Um, these guys are pretty common as pets. Um, they live a decent amount of time, 10, 15 years, even a little bit more. Um, so a lot of people will have them as pets for that reason. Yeah, cool. These are the common frogs that you'll see in your backyard around Sydney and Newcastle and Wollongong and areas like that. They're, they're, I used to have them in my backyard when I was a ch child living in Chester Hill in Sydney. Uh, they could get in, in the different plants and make a lot of noise at night. But they're great animals to have around. And they, they tell you when it's ready to rain because they start croaking and carrying on because they're going to lay some eggs. And these, these females will lay anything up to 2,000 eggs. Wow. So when you consider humans normally have one and these guys have 2,000, um, it takes a lot out of them. It's a big drain on, on their capacity and, but they handle it well and they're breeding very well awesome that's so exciting and where whereabouts are these guys from like where would they be breeding um, anywhere coastal you find them all up and down the east coast um, and even crossing to northern territory as well um, so anywhere that there's a body of water nearby um, or you'll often hear them in your drain pipe as well uh, they're not fussy. <laughs> I think I remember when I was a kid, I found one in my toilet and it was terrifying. <laughs> yeah, they love toilets. Yeah. <laughs> toilets have got water and they want still water. They don't want a, a river or a creek. They want still water so they can lay their eggs. So they're very happy to, to be attracted to that and toilets fit that. I know, I know they're pretty dirty from our view, but the frogs think they're wonderful. <laughs> you often find them in the, the little water supply up the top where you press your water to come down into your toilet. <laughs> Anyone that has a grandparent that may have had a toilet outside or maybe in camp toilets or things like that when you've been camping on holidays in coastal areas, these are the ones that you'll probably find. <laughs> Crikey, that's a lot. Um, and just one more question while we're talking about the green tree frogs, which I think would be really important. Can you tell us what we should do, if we should do anything, if we see any frogs in our backyards? I would just leave them alone. They're, if you've got a frog in your backyard, it means you haven't got a lot of chemicals and you, you've got a, a pretty good backyard from the point of view of animals. So um, it's a sign that these animals are being attracted because you're doing everything right. So I wouldn't change anything. Um, there, there are different plants you might want to look up and research as to, as to make them a bit happier. But if you've got them in your backyard, just enjoy them. 
Oh, lovely. All right. Well, now our health check's over. Um, we're going to pass on the cameraman work to our vet nurse, Kelly, and she is going to feed some of our beautiful, magnificent tree frogs. All right, guys. So let's see who is ready for a feed. Got one little guy there, one little guy there. Today we have some worms for them. Um, so we've got a few different worms for them to eat. It's a little bit of a treat, but we have got a super worm. Now this is something they don't get very often. This is definitely something they look forward to. So this could go very exciting for the viewers at home. Uh, frogs can often stick their tongue out and catch their food, or they can pounce completely on it with enthusiasm. So let's see how this goes, all right? We'll give it a chance. Here you go, buddy. Do you want one of these today? Yeah, good job, mate. All right, so same with our record keeping. We like to know who ate. So I'm gonna pass that to Caroline so she can make a record of that little one's had some food. Let's move on to Magnificent Tree Frog number two. Are you hungry today, buddy? There we go. Oh, buddy, you are right? There we go. Too much enthusiasm landed on my hand. All right, third and final Magnificent Tree Frog is down here. So we'll give it a go, see if you can see that. Here you go, buddy. It's a little bit, oh, you got it? Well done. I was just about to say it's a little bit of a waiting game sometimes, but not today. All right, so what we're gonna do, take the chip numbers of those two, I'll pass that to Caroline. And we'll take the chip number of the third one, just so we can record that everyone ate. But today everyone got one worm each. What do you reckon, Caroline? Can they have a second one today? Oh, why not? It's a bit like, a bit like Christmas when we do these live streams. We've got plenty of worms for them. All right, okay. so we'll give it a go. They don't have to have their second worm today, but we will offer. We'll go back to our little guy, frog number one, first off. All right, mate. Um, I think, <laughs> yes, no, maybe. <laughs> Look, he thought about it. Oh, he's a bit camera shy now. Yeah. Look, he didn't eat very gracefully, so he's decided that today was not his day. That's all right. We'll come back to him. He can have another chance. All right, mate. Do you want another one today? Here we go. Excellent. Good job. All right, so frog number two has had two worms. I'm gonna try frog number three. How can we tell which one is which? That's a question we just got asked. It can be a little bit tricky. Um, they look so similar. However, the more you work with them, there is a few different little features about them. Uh, the girls are a little bit bigger, so you can tell the biggest one in there. You get to know their little quirks and details. But to be 100% sure, we have microchipped them all. So they're all microchipped, just like your cat and dog at home. Uh, their microchip is actually in their back left leg. So it's nice and easy for us to locate. You interested, little one? Or you fiddled out with just one worm today? No, we changed our mind. I told you it can be a waiting game sometimes. Just gotta be patient. All right, we will give the first one a chance to have his redemption. He wasn't so graceful before, but let's give it another go. What do you reckon, mate? How big can they grow? Uh, so these guys get to about 10 centimetres. Our magnificent tree frogs range from about 80 to 100 grams. So it's pretty much as big as they're gonna get. Oh, look, I think he's just decided that he doesn't wanna shame himself in front of the camera anymore today. We'll give him a chance. How can I get frogs to come into my yard? That's a really good question. Um, so what we encourage is if you set up a water feature, just like a pond or something with a few rocks and different things in it, areas that they can perch on. Um, if you provide the areas, it gives them the opportunity to come in. No, nope, I don't think we're gonna do it today. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll give, we'll give him a little chance. That's all right. What we might do, guys, oh, hang on, no. Nope. I didn't give him enough of a chance. Here you go, buddy. Sorry. Do you want an opportunity? 
What we might do instead is I want to introduce you to uh, Green and Golden Bell Frogs, which is in the exhibit next door. So if these guys are done, which I think they might be for today, and that's fine, we can come back later and offer them a few more. Otherwise, one or two worms is great for today. They get fed every couple of days and they get fed a variety of different things from crickets, cockroaches, worms, anything we've got really. They love everything uh, insect related. No, I think that's a no. All right, Caroline, we might go next door if that's okay. There you go, a little more. These are our green and golden bell frogs. So I'll see if I can find a few different ones for you. There's one there. There's one down there. We have 12 in here. And this is definitely an effort to feed them, work out who's who, keep track of the microchip numbers. So this could be fun and games, but we'll, we'll see if Caroline can help out with that as well. There we go. All right, so what have we got for these guys today? Uh, we have a couple of little worms for a few of them. All right. Okay, so these ones are a little bit smaller. So these are frogs that you'd find in the Sydney area. All right, here we go. What do you reckon, little one? There we go. Good job, buddy. Any more? Alright, we might only feed one or two more for now guys and we'll leave it there for today and otherwise we'll be here all day with 12 frogs but that's okay. If you have any other questions that we haven't answered please feel free to send them through and we'll be able to help you out. No, not today? That's alright. Okay, we'll try this little one down here, one more go. All right, guys, we might leave it there for today. We'll come back and keep offering them a few more foods later. All right, thank you so much for tuning in and meeting our frogs today and hanging around for our little vet check. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to send them through and we'll get to them for you. But otherwise, tune in tomorrow. We've got story time coming up and check our socials for a whole heap of other live stream videos. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon. Bye.